All right, so how you all doing? This is my second video. So this is your uh, your dancer booby. So before I started comp fishing, when I went to fisheries, I liked fishing yellow dancers and all of damsels. Now this is a competition variant in the booby, but when I went to a fishery, I would fish these with a bead head, so a yellow dancer or an old damsel, and that you're on a floating line. We uh leader length the same length of the rod and literally just twiddle it back or fish it back quick and it would always get fish. So I'm just gonna show you how to tie this in a competition variant one. So this is my booby yellow dancer. So we'll start with a hook. Again I'll go through my materials. So I'm using the B175 size 10 hook canvason. Soft silver wire, uni thread, well, sorry, not uni thread, uni miler peacock, and it's got orange on the back, that's going to be my body. Uni thread, 8 0 and yellow. Short cock cackles in yellow. And wherever it is. And White marabou. In my opinion, the most annoying thing to tie with on the planet. But anyway, we'll get started. As soon as every fly, just start with a layer of thread down the hook. Get your marabou stock. Pull through it, twist, just to get it all in a nice position. And cut. Again, pull through it to get rid of all the loose ends on this side. Make it a bit more tidy, I just lick the end. Just to tidy it up. Put it on, make sure it stays on the top of the hook before you tighten down. So when you tighten down, just position it. And tighten down on it. Come on and tidy up the ends a bit because that's where we're going to put the movie eyes. Then run a nice little thread. All the way down now, you can tidy it all up. So it doesn't really matter so much for this one, but just just get into the habit. So so I like to build up the front end a bit. This position, all you want to do now is I like to trim it, so I use this as my gauge. So, as I say, you want to get that you want to get it in here into that gauge, so that's how I gauge it. So, 
So all I do is pinch and pull. That gives you a nice wee tail. I'll just measure it, sorry for that. Yeah, it's well in the gauge. And I'm just gonna put on my put in a small sensor small silver wire. So no matter which way you put this in, as long as it's on the hook. Some people go all the way down the, the far end of the hook with it, but there's no need. So I will say that I nearly forgot is try and put a, a layer of a layer of thread around the back of the uh, marabou. You know what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our body. What you want to do now is put a little bit of, I use Sally Hansen because it's a little bit thicker. Sally Hansen. Put it on the top of the hook. Not too much, just a little bit. Tidy up the mess if you can. It's going to look messy. This is old Sally Hansen. And then just rub your body. You're going to see the varnish come up through, but we'll tidy that up at the end. Two loops over, give it a little bit of a pull, three loops back. Keep up for your next fly. Now your baby eyes, again, I prepped these earlier, this is 7 mil. Put them this centimeter. Oh, dropped it. Cut into a centimeter uh, length and then round it off with a pair of scissors. So the same way I done my booby eyes the other day. Get it roughly in the middle before you lock down on it. Seen this before. Four loops on this side of the hook. And then four loops on this side of the hook. And then do a couple of turns around the front of the eye. Just to get it in there. Set it up. Right, nice for the cock hackle, so these are annoying too because you have to dig the fellers out and find the right length length of feller so the way I roughly estimate the feller is, is uh, this is the feller I've got here so I grab the feller here and then run my fingers down like that so then I can roughly estimate how how long the fibres are going to be now that is slightly long but it'll be fine for this, this type of feller Let's take the fly. So all I'm doing here. If you look, I've just took the bar end of the stock off. So I'm going to tie in at the stock. So what I do from the stock is I put it in between the booby eyes. That's my 
that's good for the booby eyes because the booby eyes actually help you tie this fly. That's the stock done. Two turns over that. I ain't gonna leave that there obviously I'm just keeping it there till I finish the hook because my hackle pliers aren't the best. And they're known to pull out the hackle. So you can bend it like that and then start to pull the hackle fibers back, but and if it Hold the baby eyes back. Then you want to put two turns at the front. That's just this to start it. So that's two. And all you want to do then is just work your way down the hook. Palmering it down the hook. And you hold it here and you bring your you bring your wire. And use your wire to lock it. So what I do then is I generally put leave up or out layer of the way. Bring that round there twice. It's a good healthy bit of wire in just to lock it off. And then all you want to do is just work your work your wire between the fibers and rub it all the way up. Well, lock this off again. It's like anything. Two turns at the front. Give it a little pull. Bring it back, and then two turns over it. Then for your wire, then all I want to do then is just helicopter it off. That's it, helicopter off. Hackle at the back. You don't need to cut that, that should just snap off. Which it hasn't. As an out. And all you want to do then is just finish. As you say, as I say, that them fibers are virgin on maybe too long, but it will still fish. It will still fish. So I'm just going to do a couple of turns at the front just to better bring in. Varnish, a little bit of varnish on the thread. Just to lock it in. In with a whip finish. One, two, three. That's three. I usually do four, but it slipped off. So I'll do one more. One, two, three. That's never come out. Just tidy everything up. Make sure you're happy. I'm just saying, I'm just going to come in again with this just to double check the length of everything. Yep, I'm bang on, I'm in. Then. If you watched my video yesterday, just to seen this before. We dab a super glue, pull the eyes down, put the super glue in the middle of the eyes. Good healthy portion of super glue. That'll just help, that'll set the eyes. And then you'll get your uh, you'll get your disturbance in the water. So popping it. As I said before, before I put super before I was using super glue for them, 
I would try and pop it and the eyes would move. The eyes would move. So as I say, that's uh, that's my uh, yellow dancer booby and it's competition legal so you can fish it. Fish it anywhere, fish it in a washing line, fish it on a sinking line. Short leader, whatever. As I say, my favourite style of fishing is the washing line, so it's the majority of my fly. So, as I say, the hackle's a little bit long, but let me get some more hackle fire. Thank you. Please like and subscribe, and I'll. Continue tying my flies.